and welcome to the show that got a D-plus rating from the Better Business Bureau, Ian's Ideas. Today I want to talk about a line of toys that I don't think get enough love, Playmobil. Playmobil, little people, the fun never ends. This toy company has had a lot of success, but it always seems to be in the shadow of Lego, which doesn't make a ton of sense to me. They're not that similar. Yes, they're both made of hard plastic, and they both have smiley cherub-like characters, but Lego has always been more construction-based, while Playmobil is largely pre-built. Plus, Playmobil has way more realistic weapons. So let's go over the history a little bit. In 1971, German inventor Hans Beck pitched a line of model airplanes to a company called Geobra Brandstatter. Sorry if I butchered that, I have no knowledge of the German language. The company didn't want model planes, but liked Beck's work, so they asked him if he could make a children's toy instead. Thus, he spent the next three years developing the toys, and they would come to be Playmobil. By 1975, Playmobil toys were available worldwide. Beck kind of seems like a cool guy that wasn't obsessed with money. I mean, yeah, he got plenty of money for his role in this company, but he seemed to be more of an advocate for the imagination. Speaking about giving his toys to children, he was quoted saying, I would put the little figures in their hands without saying anything about what they were. They accepted them right away. They invented little scenarios for them. They never grew tired of playing with them. So this bin actually contains a lot of the Playmobil toys I had as a kid. My mom keeps them at her house for when little kids come over to visit, but I stole them from her the other day. You can't give these ones to Goodwill, Mom. All right, Mom, I'll see you next week. Beck passed away in 2009, but he lives on through his figures. No, literally. Legend has it that before he died, Hans Beck conducted a ritual in which his soul was transferred into one of his pirate Playmobil figures. This toy is highly sought after by collectors, but there are doubts of its existence. Largely, Playmobil is known for its historical accuracy. Police, Knights and cowboy sets are among the more popular ones. However, their attention to details in a historical sense has almost landed them in trouble a few times. There were prototypes made for sets including Chinese railroad workers, grave diggers, and a medieval torture dungeon. Let me reiterate that. A medieval torture dungeon for kids ages 4 to 12. There are also Playmobil theme parks. These parks feature life-size Playmobil figures, play areas, and different events, as well as life-size castles and pirate ships. There are four parks remaining, and they're all in Europe. There was one in Florida, but it has since closed. This particular park closed its doors due to being linked to several disappearances of children. The cases were never solved, but when a kid disappeared, a Playmobil statue would be added in that child's likeness. Video games and movies were also produced, and a full-length feature will be released later this year. The movies aren't that great, but I did play one of the games. It's called Hype the Time Quest, and honestly, it's a really fun game. Think Zelda with some Castlevania elements, but with Playmobil characters. It was released on PC and Game Boy Color, but I'm not sure how available it is in the US. Either way, if you can get a hold of it, check it out. Well, that does it for today. Thanks for watching. I hope you were enlightened, and I hope you were encouraged to pick up some Playmobil figures. They are available at Walmart if you hate yourself enough to go there. I know I do. But click like, leave a comment, subscribe, and click dislike if this face gives you nightmares. Some
something weird about this one. Could it be? You will become my next vessel. Who said that? <laughs> Get away from me, Hans! Hey man, wanna play some Rival Turf for the Super Nintendo? Dude, come on. Why are you so bad? Hot Dine and Mondunkov! <laughs>